The Colognes are here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Primo, Primo and Epico and carrying Epico. on the legendary the legacy of the Cologne family in sports entertainment. You know, there's one thing very consistent about Primo and Epico, and that is no lack of confidence from these two individuals who firmly believe they serve as the basis of what tag team wrestling is all about. It's hard to argue with that fact, Byron. The fact that Primo and Epico literally grew up inside of a ring. Unbelievably talented team. Ton of potential. The Deleters of Worlds. So let me get this straight. At a combined weight of 521 pounds, weight. the Lake of Reincarnation, and he changed. Matt Hardy That's right. And now he's buddies Ray with Matt Wyatt. Hardy, the who's got Riddle McIntyre and two kids that believe that they're kings. Right? Oh, Michael Cole, you ignoramus! You couldn't be more mistaken. You're speaking of Senor Benjamin, Queen Rebby, the Hardy Compound, the Lake of Reincarnation, and Brother Wyatt has been reincarnated. Michael, if it makes you feel better, I'm a huge Reba McIntyre fan. Do you know what it feels like to be woken, Michael Cole? I can never fully explain to you the grandeur, the level that your mind exceeds to become woken. Byron, I would suggest volunteering to be deleted. I'm good right here. So I guess if you don't follow the buzzards, you're deleted. Allow me to introduce you to the mower of lawn. Both legal men are in the ring, and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. behind it. He's starting to stagger a bit, but it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? I know it's early, but if things stayed the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalya's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. You've got to believe this one's over. 
During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. What a strike! The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a bro kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss Cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. There's no doubt that Bray Wyatt's evil intentions can't be denied. The hush that falls over the WWE Universe when he appears is frightening enough, especially for where we sit. He's looking a little weary here. Guys, this is where we find out what he's made of. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Moments ago, Byron, you spoke about the wicked nature of Bray Wyatt. Now, he certainly caused enough pain to support your statement. Many consider this man to be a monster. When Bray Wyatt created the Wyatt family, he conceived a living, breathing cauldron of evil. There are a few things we can all agree on, but that's definitely one of them. The man should be applauded for his work. Applauded? He's definitely tapped a power source. Tagged in. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. It's something that they have to try. He's going for the pin. Digging deep for a kick out. Uh-uh. You got to feel for Epico looking beaten down at this point. And I wouldn't be surprised if he had nothing left at this point. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the... Uh-oh. Side effect! That's what he was going for the cover. Matt Hardy's looking to end it. Matt Hardy's a veteran with almost 25 years of it. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Is he done? Ah, uh, somehow he breaks it. He may have broken free, Cole, but I assure you the damage has already been done. Byron brought up Matt Hardy's jealousy issues. His rivalry with his brother Jeff is proof of that. And don't forget how unhinged Matt became when Lita left him for edge. Epico from behind. Man. Epico calls this the Triplanta. Three parts, all painful. One more step to go. Oof. Epico quickly getting the shoulder up. Using your head. What a stomp! Good grief! Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown tag team champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the tag team title tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural tag team champions. There was a lot on the line in the tag team tournament finals. The Usos wanted to add another tag team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown tag team champions.
The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was a team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. In a Ray Watt drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. This one is over. Boom! What a right! In a He's looking at it. Now that's an impressive tag team victory. No doubt that was a match people will be telling their kids about for years to come. Here's another look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here are your winners, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. The deleters of worlds. The shoulders were down for three, and this one's in the books. With wins like that, there's no way these two should even think about splitting up. Just my opinion. I'd be curious to see how this win impacts the rest of the tag team division.